My name is Frank Schweitzer. I'm a professor of systems design at ETH Zürich. The focus of our research is on economic networks and social organizations and can be best described as data-driven modeling approach. Yes, that's our belief. Otherwise, we would not participate in the FOG project, actually. Uh, the reason why we were not successful yet basically relates to two circumstances. The first one is that so far we probably did not fully understand the systemic feedback that occurs if particular individual agents fail in the system. So what is the impact on the system? What is the role of the network behind the agents? All these kind of network effects. And uh, another thing that needs to be improved is basically the interpretation of the data. Because we have data available, we can calculate certain measures, but we are not always clear what the meaning of what we have calculated and how to interpret this in the right context. In our previous research, we tried to develop a framework to systematic investigate systemic risk. This framework included three different elements. First, the agents with their individual dynamics. Secondly, the topology of the network, which basically describes the possible interactions of the agent. And thirdly, the way the agents interacted. There are different uh, classes of interactions that can be described in a similar way. So we identified three different classes. And dependent on whether a particular contagious process uh, belongs to one of these classes, we could also predict the systemic risk that the whole system fails. The heterogeneity of the agent plays an important role in the stability of the system. So if we all have the same threshold to fail, then the system stays stable for a very long time, but then immediately collapses, yeah, because everyone has the same threshold. If we have different thresholds, if agents are heterogeneous, then this means that some agents fail earlier, some agents fail later. And that means instead of having one big cascade, we have a number of small cascades which then occur at different time steps in the system. So that means the likelihood that the whole system collapses at the same time will be much lower. In the FOC project, we are interested in two major issues. One is the visualization and the analysis of the network effects that occur in financial systems. And the second issue is the uh, scenario forecasting. That means given that we can specify a particular initial conditions about the thresholds of the agents, for example, what is a likely scenario that will happen in the future? This, of course, implies that we have a dynamic model we can rely on in order to do this forecasting. And one of the real challenges from my perspective is to develop this dynamic model. Data is absolutely crucial for our project. So there are two major points. One is the determination of the initial conditions. As I just explained, we need to know the current conditions in order to start the forecast, and we need data in order to specify this. The second uh, important point is the calibration of the model. There are time scales involved, for example, which need to be calibrated. There are specific mechanisms of uh, transfer of risk involved, which need to be calibrated. And this can be only done against real data. I think the FOC project can contribute basically to help for the development of scenarios, of possible scenarios. If we can now, if we are able to identify particular 
risk in a situation, it's very difficult at the moment to estimate the likelihood that the system dynamics go this way or another way. And with uh, the insight from the FOC project, we are hopefully better in estimating these scenarios and assigning some likelihood or probability to the outcome of possible processes. Mm -hmm. This is something we cannot do at the moment.